But these thoughts and or myths, if these are still in your head, the ones I'm going to talk about, they are preventing you from getting into that hero mindset and they're preventing you from putting forth your best foot to casting. So myth number one uh, in the uh, audition and acting world is the, that my career as an actor is a solo journey. A lot of people make that massive, massive mistake. I made it early on being a stand-up comedian as, and as an actor. Uh, when you're, The reality is when you're not in a cast on set or you're not in a theater production, it can feel lonely. It can feel like this is a lone wolf type scenario. Um, uh, but you have to realize that you're not in it alone. And if you remain in it alone, it's hurting you. So that's why congratulations to everyone of you who is here, everyone who is a part of a class, everyone who's part of Todorov Conservatory, is you've surrounded yourself by other excellent people. And you've heard the term, you're going to be the average of the five people around you. That's very, very true in all avenues of life. Uh, and you've, you've probably heard the term, you can't soar with the eagles if you scratch with the chickens or scratch with the turkeys. So if you're surrounded by a bunch of chickens and turkeys, you're not going to be one of those eagles. But the second you surround yourself by people who are ideally further along and better than you and who are uplifting and positive, it's going to lift you up as well. So please, if any part of you has that mentality that uh, no one understands me or I'm in this for myself and I, I can't like, I have to do everything on my own, you're not. And I think we've proven this today that we've connected with people in Calgary and Mexico and Portugal and Lebanon, in the UK, in Canada. Uh, and that's a massive opportunity. So please, please, please remember that you are not in this alone. The longer you continue to think that you are solo in this, the longer you're going to struggle. And it sucks to think that way. So just surround yourself with community. Everything great that anyone has ever done, it's happened with a team. Think about an Olympian. You see them on the podium and you see them on, on uh, competition day, but they have a nutritionist, they have a physiotherapist, they have a chiropractor, they have a publicist, they have a um, sports psychologist, they have all of these trainers, they have someone booking their travel, they have someone ordering all their food, they have a, just a myriad of, of teammates so that, yeah, they end up on the, on the mountain and at the top, but it's, it's because they surrounded themselves with this community. So myth number one, smash that, you are not alone, this is not a solo journey. All right. Myth number two is your training as an actor has a completion date. And your training as an actor and as a human being never ends. From the day you're born to the day you die, you need to be learning. You need to be growing. You need to be improving and changing. So no matter what you've done, if you've taken a few workshops or you've taken conservatory, um, it doesn't matter. There's no end. There's never going to be a day where you can say, yeah, oh yeah, I learned it all. Now I just need to sit back, relax, and that's it. I'm done. And if you do that, you'll also find that all of a sudden you're not that happy and you're not that fulfilled because a big part of having a fulfilling life as a human being is growing and changing. I think growing and changing is really the main sign of life, whether you're a human or a plant or an amoeba, or a bacteria, or a virus. Uh, I don't know if viruses are alive. Are they alive? Um, somebody fact check this stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm no scientist, and uh, nor, but I occasionally play one on television. Um, but uh, what I'm saying here is your training never ends. So you need to be constantly growing, constantly improving. Just be ferocious and voracious with your learning. Seek out coaches, seek out mentors, that can be workshops online like this. That can be in-person classes. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be acting. You take a class in horse riding, take a class in fencing, take a class in a language, take a class in a dialect, take stage combat. There's a million things that you could be learning and um, uh, getting extra coaching and mentoring on. And you're going to, Victoria says, yes, viruses are living things. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yes, you said you're in the medical field. So thank you. Um, so that's myth. Myth number two is that there's a completion date. There's never a completion date. Doesn't matter. And, and if there is, you're, you're, you're going to start, you're either going forward or you're going backwards. There's no middle. You're never just kind of the status quo. You're either moving forward and learning and growing, or you're falling behind and deteriorating. It's like the, the, 
the universal thing of um, ev everything degrades to chaos eventually. We, we put things together with order and then it all falls apart. So you got to wake up every day and build yourself up and train yourself and, and put yourself together. Otherwise, you're just going to eventually entirely fall apart again. So uh, myth number three is my acting success is all who I know. This is one of the worst myths you could possibly believe. Do not believe this. And, and a lot of these are, are stories. You got to think, if you're telling yourself a story, so your, your internal thoughts, really monitor your thoughts. Yeah, thoughts are things, but you're also separate from your thoughts. Your thoughts aren't you. Your thoughts are just things that either pop into your head or things someone told you back in the day or things you repeatedly tell yourself that you're just in a pattern of. Uh, and examine those. And if it's a thought pattern and a story that is not serving you, like, oh, I don't have an agent, or I just don't know the right person, I need to find my big break, or I'm not in the right city. If you're telling your those stories and you're believing yourself, you're the reason those thoughts are the reason, not the reality of those thoughts, just the fact that you have those thoughts in your head those are the obstacle right there. So it's about smashing through any of those stories that aren't serving you. So it's not about who you know, it's about what you know. And every industry is like that. Our, our coach and mentor, Tom Todoroff, again, you're going to hear a lot of things that I say are going to be repeated through Tom. That's why I love teaching and coaching other actors, because I get to process and digest things that have been taught to me. I get to say it again. And while I'm saying it again to you, I'm relearning it and rehearing it again. This is like rehearsal in, in my second class. I spent all day in conservatory classes today doing scene study and then stage combat. And here I am talking to you. So you're going to hear a lot of things from Tom because he's, he's the most influential acting mentor that I've ever had in my life. Um, and what he says is every career is about first what you know and then who you know. Here's the, here's the reason. If it's about who you know, you have an uncle, you know a director, you know a producer, someone introduced you. Even if you know me, you're like, oh, I know Lars. Now I got my in. Um, here's the deal. If that nepotism and in, if that relationship is able to get your foot in the door and get you an opportunity, get you an audition or get you on set, if you're not a professional that doesn't have the craft and the know-how and the expertise and the professionalism to know what you're doing, you're going to burn that bridge. You're going to hurt yourself because you're going to get into an audition scenario or on set where every minute is costing thousands of thousands of dollars and the stakes are so high um, that you're, you're not going to be able to deliver the goods because you, you're not professionally trained. Uh, and you're going to burn that bridge where that that uncle you know who is, is a producer or the, the casting director that you knew from uh, your student film days who gave you that opportunity. Well, if you come in and you're not prepped and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to burn that bridge. And they're going to be like, oh, shit, like that's the last time I reco them. They kind of made a fool of me. And now my career hurts for it. And now that person, imagine you came to me and you're like, Lars, can, can you recommend me for a role? And I give you a nudge, but you don't know what you're doing. Then all of a sudden, the person I referred you to they're not going to take my word for it because they're like, oh, well, the last guy or girl that he sent us didn't really know what she's doing or he's doing. So it's about training first. Train, train, train first. If you haven't taken acting classes and you haven't studied to learn what the heck you're doing, then be here with us to learn the ropes. The sooner you can learn about auditions, the better. But then you got to take a step back and actually learn what it is and what, what the job of an actor and what your job as a storyteller is in an audition scenario actually is and then how to execute that uh, otherwise you're, you're going to be burning some of those bridges so uh, it's not about who you know it's about first what you know and then who you know then if you're rock solid in your craft like jereen who spent a year taking classes before she ever auditioned she's got that um, experience and some professionalism she's got some know-how so that when she was able to present herself to an agent and then get auditions she can deliver the goods and she's booked roles already. If she hadn't done the classes first, it doesn't make any sense. So just get rid of the, the idea that you can do this without classes. Um, maybe you might land the odd role or not. Um, uh, you might land the odd role, but you're certainly not going to have a long-term significant career that lasts for decades and decades without training. It's going to come on the back of training. And once again, in the Audition Hero group, you can sign up for the free workshop with the Todoroff um, uh, Zoom weekly workshop on Saturday Saturdays. No matter where you are in the world, you get top level 
international faculty. They're some of the best teachers in the world. So start with training. Uh, myth number four is a good, I, I'm a good, I'm a great actor. I just suck at auditions. Oh, no, no, Lars. I'm an amazing actor. I've taken all kinds of classes. I'm just terrible at auditions. And we got to bust that myth right here. Uh, until you're to the point where you're an A-lister and you're getting offers and you're turning things down, your job is to be an audition professional. That is your job. So you can't be a great actor without auditioning. So again, cart before the horse here. So shift your focus. Yeah, be a great actor, be a great storyteller. But at first you have to adapt that to the audition scenario and master the process of auditions, especially these days, self-submit auditions. Uh, via Zoom or uh, by recording them and then submitting them. Um, and so, so, so again, it's, it's, you got to get rid of that thinking. Like, don't allow yourself to continue to say that. Oh, I'm a great actor. I just suck at auditions. And think about that self-talk too. You can maybe say, oh, I'm a great actor and I'm continuing to work on being a better auditioner. Say that. Really look at your self-talk. Um, anything repeated that you're saying that's negative about yourself, get rid of that. Get rid of it. Commit in 2022 to lose those old stories. It's like the people who say, oh, I'm terrible at names. I can never remember a name or oh, I'm terrible at language. Um, don't say that stuff to yourself. Say I'm working on becoming a better blank. I'm challenging myself to raise my level of blank uh, rather than tell yourself, oh, I suck at this. I suck at that. Um, if you're like, oh, I always get nerves or I always get stage fright or oh, I'm no good at auditions. I always blow it because I'm nervous. When you're nervous because you haven't done enough prep uh, and your confidence comes from competence and it comes from preparation and relaxation so that then you can be prepared, you can be relaxed and you can just get into that imaginative space as, as an actor. Uh, and myth number five is I can't afford to invest in my acting career. I got to make some money and book some jobs first before I invest in classes and equipment. And you got to get past that. You got to figure out what is the most you can invest in yourself. That might be time. That might be energy. That might be emotions. And certainly it should be money. One of my coaches, uh, James Wedmore in uh, Business by Design. It's an online business class. Uh, he's my, my business coach, essentially. He talks about the transformation begins with the transaction. When you actually get skin in the game, you take some cash, whether it's acting classes or think about a personal trainer. When you decide, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna prepay a few hundred dollars for a personal trainer this month to really work on my fitness. What does that do to your mentality? Do you think you show up to those workouts? Do you think you put in a, a little more effort? Do you blow them off when you know that the trainer is gonna be waiting for you at the gym and you paid 300 bucks for the month? No. When you invest in things, it raises your level of investment and it raises your level of commitment too. So. Um, and it's that analogy of you can't get um, you, you don't get heat out of a out of a furnace without stoking it with fuel. You understand what I mean? You can't you don't walk up to the fire and be like, OK, yeah, give me the heat. Warm me up, baby. And then I'll put some wood in you or some oil or some electric, whatever it is. Uh, no, you got to stoke it with fuel. That's your time. That's your money. That's your energy. And then you reap the rewards. So. It's switching that mentality. So, and this is a tough one early on if, if you're in any kind of scarcity mindset uh, or let's, a, let's face it, maybe things are tight economically for you, especially in the last year and a half. But my challenge to you is invest as much as you possibly can. Is that investing in your home studio? Is that investing in your classes? Is that investing in auditions? And know that the return on those investments is tenfold, hundredfold, thousandfold. To take 50 or 100 bucks to invest in classes and or an audition session for an audition that then books you a lead role in a feature film, that's a game changer. Yet there are still people who think, oh, I can't spend 50 bucks on booking a studio and a coach for an audition because I don't have any money to do that. Well, if you're going to be in this cart before the horse scenario where you got to make that leap first. You, you got to figure out a way to cross that. And that means... Having the, um, the idea, a lot of people say, don't say I can't, never say you can't afford anything. 
Just rid that from yourself. This is an abundance mindset thing. Never say, I can't afford that. Say instead, hmm, how can I afford that? And then all of a sudden that opens possibilities. The second you say, I can't afford it, you're just like, no, you, you've cut yourself off from solutions. And worse, you've cut yourself off, off from the universe. The universe has a weird way of figuring things out for you uh, when you put it out there that it's something that you want. So when you are like, huh, how can I afford this? You might just say that and then your fucking rich aunt is like, I can pay for all your classes for you. Or you're like, how can I afford it? Well, what if I saved 20 bucks a week? Or what if I took the money I'm spending on pizza and booze and put it towards classes? What if I spent all my Netflix and chill time and Instagram swipe time and put it into reading plays and reading monologues and reading aloud? Um, there's always a trade-off there. So really think in terms of how can you do something and don't get stuck in that cart before the horse mode of not being able to invest in your career. Always invest as much as you can, where you can, where you are at. Camera equipment, backdrops, lighting, training, all of those things. Thank you.